My name is Sheyi Adewale. I'm the CEO of Mainstream Cargo Limited. Mainstream Cargo Limited is a Nigerian licensed cluster plying and freight forwarding company. We're located in the heart of Ikeja Airport, and we do a lot of importation, exportation, and warehousing. What can you say about Nigeria's tourism sector just before, before we go into unlocking the potential? Okay, it's imagine it's developing. It has great potential to catapult the nation's GDP. And the president says he wants a $1 trillion economy. So tourism, he has to leverage on tourism to make that, to bat that to life. And we can get tourism from our conference today. We heard that tourism, travels and tourism contributes about 3.7%. And if we can grow it to 10% of GDP, it will be great in the next three years or so. All right. So what, what are your takeaways from today's discussion? Yeah, it shows that we need to have honeypots, just like Ade Mola said. And one of those honeypots, we identified some of them, whereby government need to leverage the infrastructural needs that we need to put in place, enhance, coordinate, collaborate, to ensure we promote the tourism sector and especially also to change the narrative whereby we brand Nigeria well. You heard from Paul's presentation where we said Nigeria's issues are no worse than that of Ireland during their own time. And now Nigerians, what narrative do we put in the public space and the social space, you know, social media space? So if every Nigerian, if we can get 160 million Nigerians to promote Nigeria very well. We said we have about 54 million people on TikTok, for example, and Facebook. You know, okay, I think TikTok about 18.4 million, Facebook about 58 million. If we can get these people to talk well about Nigeria, to promote Nigeria, and get everybody galvanized to the brand Nigeria, and we have those things, heritage sites, great sites whereby Nigeria can leapfrog. And then you see everybody from the diaspora, from Africa, from Europe wanted to come to Nigeria. And we also noted all the challenges that we have there. And Paul, for example, mentioned one about how much it costs, that we should not look at the issue of reciprocity. I spoke a little bit about the transit buses, whereby we need a lot of signages, you know, a lot of good passenger facilitation whereby we need to just collaborate the public private sector handshaking and coming to a new goal which it's noted to all nigerians and that will get us to where we're going from our discussion so far i've seen how i've been able to lay out on the potentials in nigerian tourism sector or space so with what you do in the aviation industry how can we leverage it to unlock nigeria's tourism that is why i spoke on the basa nigerian airlines need to use that opportunity to promote Nigeria. So firstly, when airlines come, we have the opportunity to also take, I mean, fly to different destinations all over the world. So if we don't get our airlines, domestic airlines to fly international routes and take opportunity from those countries, it's difficult to grow our tourism sector. That is one. Because through the airlines, we can partner and build products, brands and such like that endears people to our cultural heritage sites we have within the country. So that bazaar is key. That bazaar is key. Nigerian, okay, bazaar simply means bilateral air services agreement and it's between nations, country to country. So when we sign bazaar, we now have to find a way to get our domestic airlines to get good plane, long haul planes, aircraft, support them in whatever way they need to be able to capitalize on that opportunity since the country doesn't have its own carrier, so to say. So we have to have a ensure our flag carrying members like Airpeace and related airlines. I think Aquai Bomb has gotten Airbus and things like that. So fly regional flights to Africa, fly to Europe, fly everywhere, you know, and then use that to promote Nigeria and get people from the diaspora, from Europe, from Africa, into Nigeria through branding and through product selling of Iris State, Ujudi Oba, Oba Luaye, Center, Oshun Shogu, 
all these places, yeah. So those are some of the things. So you also mentioned a couple of so how to buy as uh, humans pay. Yeah, like Rwanda. Is yeah, it Rwanda? Yeah, Rwanda. yeah, they create tours whereby they look at the load factor. What they look is that they have their time and seasons and they know the trend. So when they see that the load factor is low, for example, they create product promo promos to Nigerians here, whereby they target, in this instance for Rwanda, they target Gen Zs to fly on them and give them very reasonable fly, flight ticket fares, airfares, so that they can be able to take opportunity of that. And then they do top packages that are closed. What I mean by closed is end to end. It has that money paid as where you can stay, food, daring, how many days you can visit and such like. And it's just wonderful. And because of that, those people come back to Nigeria and promote those places. We said, and as I gave an example whereby people like Kataya do tours even up to Vietnam in partnership countries, Vietnam, Qatar, Nigeria, moving that trade, even to Lebanon, I give you an example. And these things are going on the ground whereby Nigerians are flying to Lebanon. Despite the wars and the bombings there, Nigerians are flying there because they have been able to promote and advertise, market their brand over there. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Sheya Adewale, CEO of Mainstream Cargo Limited, a Nigeria licensed custom clearing and freight forwarding company. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you.